during the product manager interview, there are two type of candidates. So do you have product management experience? Do you know what is MVP, roadmap, requirements, voice of customers? Candidate one. Candidate two. Yes, I have product before you. Dun -dun. Almost all the product manager jobs ask for prior product management experience. However, how would you be able to show that you have relevant product management experience without a product manager title? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a product portfolio to gain the product management experience and succeed in the product manager resume and interviews. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product from drnancylee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. To learn the most effective way to land a job as a product manager, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that every time one upload a new video, you'll be notified every Monday. Product portfolio is a critical part of landing a product manager job. Recently, a student of mine got a product manager job in an e-commerce business only one week into my product management bootcamp was because she used her product portfolio to impress the hiring manager. Today, let me show you how exactly we can help you to build your product portfolio as well. Please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the YouTube algorithm. First of all, what is a product portfolio and what are the key components of a product portfolio? Product portfolio is a collection of products you have built before using the product management methodology to demonstrate that you already had the prior product management experience and understand the methodology and key component of building a product. In this specific product portfolio, I know you may think about the designer's product portfolio. This is quite different because designer's portfolio is more focused on the visual design. As a product manager portfolio, we're more focused on the customer persona, customer journey, and requirements that's more relevant to developing a product and launch a product from concept to execution. There are three key components of a product portfolio. They are customer persona, requirements, and MVP. Regarding customer persona, it's truly leveraged in terms of how you conduct the customer interviews, and usually you will have more than one customer persona. You can see some examples right here. Regarding the product requirement, there are five different types of product requirements you need to write about in your product portfolio. We'll talk about those five different kinds of requirements in details in my prior video, talk about the must-have product manager resume keywords so that you're able to land that job. Now, the last part is MVP. You can build many different kinds of MVPs, but the most common type of MVPs are mock-ups and videos. The best part of product portfolio is that if you can bring these mock-ups and MVPs and videos directly to the hands of end users and ask them for feedback so that you're able to improve it, so that you have the entire end-to-end -end experience of building a product, improving it, and launching a product. And second, you should build a product manager portfolio to gain the product management experience. So product manager jobs is an experience-based job, which means it's all based on your prior experience, how much you have done related to product. So building this portfolio will enable you to capture and identify what you've done before that's relevant to product management. You need to sincerely build this portfolio, and I recommend all my bootcamp students to spend at least 20 hours to build a product manager portfolio so that you can digest and learn product management concept even before you get the job. And once you get the offer, you can immediately hit the ground and start running. Now, for all my audience, I can put you guys into two categories. And one group is that one of you guys might have prior experience that relevant to product management, such as consulting experience or digital transformation experience. And in that case, you can turn your prior project into a product portfolio and build a part you have done before, such as customer interviews, and build it up your prior project's product portfolio. If you have nothing to do with product management in your prior life, you can start from scratch by building some side projects, helping some startups, and build everything ground up. In my last video, I talked about how would you become a product manager within nine steps without prior experience. Over there, I gave you three top examples what kind of project you can do, how would you gain product management experience. If you want to learn all the 13 different type of projects you can build on the side, you can download the specific cheat sheet here, which you can take it to build your own specific product portfolio. Now I have a question for all of you guys. Have you already had a product manager portfolio or not? Please comment down below in the video and let me say yes portfolio, no portfolio, so I know how many of you guys already get a head start. Number three, you can get interviews using your product portfolio. 
by this time, I assume you already build your product portfolio, then you can directly use it in your networking script. As I talked to you guys in my masterclass, how would you be able to land a product manager job without applying jobs online? So networking is a key part of landing a product manager interview. So when you send over your networking script and trying to network with higher managers, you should send over your product portfolio to show that you already have gained product management experience and you're very sincere. You have done extra steps to move forward to the next round of becoming a product manager. So it's very critical that can land you a product manager interview. Number four, put your product portfolio into your product manager resumes and job application. In your product manager resume, there's a specific session called product manager project where all your side projects can go into the session and you should talk about you have conducted voice of customer interviews, you have role requirements, you have drove like roadmap before so that you're able to hit all the product manager keywords. I have made a specific video talk about all the keywords you need to hit. You can check out this must have product manager resume keywords here. Once you hit all those keywords, you should also think about is there any prior work experience that relevant to product management? If so, we can also hit all the keywords in another session called work experience. In those work experience because you build a product portfolio have you done anything relevant to product management you can write over there about your product manager keywords as well number five bring your product portfolio to your product manager interview during your product manager interview people will ask you lots of questions regarding tell me example when you turn a product from concept to executions and those are perfect example you have done in your product portfolio and especially this can be used in answering those behavioral questions and you should also bring the product portfolio to an in-person interview. This is post the pandemic, but during pandemic, you can directly send the link of your portfolio. And to be honest, prior to the pandemic, I would bring a stack of my portfolio, print it out and bring it into the interview. And in case any of the conversations or questions rise up regarding product portfolio, I can bring this to my hiring manager and show them that I already have done all the homework and I'm already an outstanding candidate and it's more likely I'm able to get a job. If you want to hear more tips like this about how to build a product portfolio and you can subscribe to my newsletter where I'm going to send you more tips about product portfolio. If you want to join a secret society of aspiring product managers like you where we discuss product manager interviews, questions and answers, you can check out my WeChat group and Facebook there. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for the YouTube algorithm and check out my other videos about product manager interviews and questions. And hopefully all of you guys are getting a job very soon as a product manager. I'm going to see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.